And one of the hardest hit areas in Louisiana has been the Bayou region. Paul Dudley has more from Terrebonne Parish. So if you think it won't happen, it does, and we're seeing it. We are getting nervous and scared. At Terrebonne General, there were no ICU beds left when hospital leaders addressed the parish council last week. The hospital is full of COVID patients. This is like no other process we've seen before. The hospital has 28 beds in the ER, and on Monday, 20 were filled with COVID patients, leaving just eight beds for others needing help. You have a heart attack, you have a stroke, you're in a car accident, you need to come into the hospital. Guess what? You can hang out in the emergency department so we can get a place for you. How do we get a place for you? Either we, we have people that get better and get discharged from the hospital, or we have people that get worse and they die. And that's how the beds open up right now. And that's a sad state to be in. Different from other surges, the hospital has been treating a number of young patients, ranging in age from 20 to 50, but also children, including a three-year-old, an eight-month-old, a four-month-old, and even a baby just 11 weeks old. We haven't seen anything like this before. Nobody has, as I talk to my colleagues in the state, it's different than the first time. It's not just Terrebonne General. Oxner says they've got 112 patients at their other facilities across the bayou. We've continued to see escalation in cases in, in the Bayou region. It is definitely one of the hot spots. There is definitely very significant bed capacity challenges in that region. More than 90% of those in critical care are unvaccinated. In Lafouche Parish, the parish president says they are continuing to add more vaccination sites to try and get a handle on this latest surge. Still pushing the vaccine as, as hard as we can, encouraging people to, to talk to their doctor, talk to their their family, and if it's right for them to go ahead and get it. Back here at Terrebonne General, the other obstacle the hospital is facing has to do with staffing. We're told that at least 40 staff members here at the hospital have tested positive for COVID-19. Of course, they have to quarantine before they can return back to work, putting an even bigger strain on this hospital system. I'm Paul Dudley reporting Eyewitness News. Back to you.